Is it time to say goodbye to my old friend? I think so. Hello and welcome back to the YouTube channel. I'm FJJ here with PodiumArcher.com talking about the revolution bovice from Last Chance Archery. This is incredibly similar to one I was personally working on, so I actually decided to scrap it when I saw him come out with this because uh, it was honestly a little too similar. But what they've come out with here is a much more versatile vice, in my opinion, and, that, and here's why. One, it's easy to attach to a counter, just clamps on. This counter is a little wide, so it won't fit on this counter, which is why I've got this two by four screwed down here. But its original intention is to actually put on your bow vise. So if you're running a last chance bow vise, clamps on right here, take the clamp off, put it away, don't have to leave it on your counter, which is pretty nice. And it does break down real solid. This is where most of your base adjustment comes from is in this ball. And then it's hinged here to be able to rotate your bow back and forth. And there are levels on the vise, so you can get it set level according to here. What I like about it more than anything is that it attaches anywhere. You're not stuck just attaching it to the limb. And this is what I was personally working on, was something that you can easily attach into the handle because if the bow is attached in the handle, getting your levels to sit still when you're trying to set a first, second, and third is so much easier. Also, when you're gonna work on your bow as an actual bow, to be able to set it up in a position like that where it's braced in the middle, it doesn't move nearly as much and the limb attachment styles they wear out as you try to use them in that position which the guys in my shop know this because i bark at them all the time for it they frequently use them for working on a bow and not setting a level and i've had issues with the heads wearing out in that situation because this is attached to the handle it doesn't vibrate it doesn't move it doesn't flex as much that part's pretty freaking cool another little neat little feature on this little sucker is they made a couple of different heads they make the standard one which if you buy the basic $350 model, it comes with this universal attachment. Mind you, if you really like attaching to the limb, you can actually set this on the limb. All you gotta do, rotate this around like so. Stick your limb in there, get it right. And you can keep rotating it down until it actually attaches on the limb. So if you really want to attach on the limb with this vise, you still can. It's just once you do it and you realize how much the bows move when they're attached to the limb, which we've gotten complaints with the other vices that we've used forever on, it's flimsy, it moves more. So you kind of got to like adjust it to where it looks right and then let go of it and look at it and then move it a little more and then look at it. But if you want to attach to the limb, you still can, which is really nice. Plus, the other neat thing about this is because of the way it attaches, I'm going to set that over there, you can put all kinds of stuff in here. It doesn't just have to be a bow. So if you're working on something in your shop or your garage at home, or like my little man cave here, and it's not archery related, you can actually clamp it in here, hold it down and grab it and work on it. So it's, it's kind of versatile in that regard. Getting this head off is super simple. So if you just want to leave this mounted to your counter, you just drop that assembly off, throw it under your counter, and that's all it's sticking out. They also made one that goes through your stabilizer bushing. If you want to attach it differently, once again, slide the ball in cinch it down and you are once again attached and locked down. You can actually loosen this out and rotate here and tighten it back down to get it set where you want. So there's a couple different options on that assembly. And then this is one of the ones that comes with the optional other version. And then for those of you that are into your AR stuff, the high end version will come stand behind here comes with a mag release on it. So if you have a, a firearm that takes an AR-15 mag well, like that, you can set it in there and monkey with it, work on it, instead of just trying to lay it down on your counter and pull it right back off. So all in all, because of that, I really feel this is a much more versatile tool. I think it does a really good job for attachment. It's very easy to set your levels and it's much nicer for actually physically working on your bow. If you're tying in a loop, tying in a peep, bolting rests on and off, grabbing it, pulling on it, it's just, it's just really hard to beat, um, which is why I was trying to make something very similar to it, but they beat me to it and made a product that I'm very happy with to the extent that I don't feel I can improve on it much and make it myself. We do have them on the website available now. Um, we had originally filmed this video and somehow the uh, 
the files got lost and we weren't able to put it out or we were trying to put this one out uh, a little while ago. So we're remaking it for you. Hopefully it's helpful and beneficial. The Last Chance Revolution Bovice, and I will show you real quick in case you don't want to mount it on your counter. It does go on a bow press. Just stick it on right there, tighten it down. And we'll grab that one again. Where's the, oh, we threw it under the counter. There you go. Put her back in there. And so that was very, very fast to take something off and put it back on and actually get it to where you can set it relatively level. So my hat's off to them. They made a really good product here. We've had them for about a month. They seem to be holding up pretty well. And we replaced all the ones in the shop with these. And the guys are pretty happy with it. So if it saves time or is more versatile, I really recommend it. Head on over to PodiumArcher.com for all those needs, including free shipping on this sucker. Comment down below on what you think about this video. Was there stuff that it does that I didn't point out or things I should have said that I didn't say, etc.? Or just ask questions in general and what videos you're looking for. Thanks for checking us out.